All right. This is my tutorial on making random messages. Okay, a message of the a message of the day in the style of message of the match. A random message generator, basically. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and play this just so you can see what it what it's doing. And you can set it on any number of events, right? Right? For for all for all purposes of this of this video, I've attached the activator to this panel instead of me spawning in. So if I spawned in, you would see one of these random messages pop up instead of having to hit the button. See message four. Okay. Message two. Okay. Message one. Message three. Message four. Message three. If I played message three again, which did not change. Message one. New message. Okay. All right, so if you noticed, one of those times I pressed it, I, I, I hit the button, and nothing happened, right? That's because it noticed it, it assigned the same value to the same message, which didn't actually change the message. Okay, so nothing popped up. Okay, so for message of the day, or message of the match, I, su I should say, your message would be tied to on player spawned, right? On player spawned signal, okay? And if you're only going to display one message for the entire match at the very beginning, then you don't have to worry about it because it's going to pick one of these at random and display it, okay? Now, uh, here's another idea. What if you want a random message selected every any time something happens? Like, let, let's say you've got another room and you have the activator attached to it, um, attached uh, attached to the signal, the relay, and you don't want that to happen. Okay, you only want one of each message to ever display, okay? Not in any particular order, but you only want one of each. If that's the case, you need to come in here and choose unique outputs. Okay, choose unique outputs. As it says, the same output will not be picked more than once. Okay. The signal outputs will be reset after all of them have been signaled, which will be handy if you want to keep displaying messages. So let's say you want to talk crap to your player, right? So you have a bunch of messages. Uh, um, let's say, let's say you, you make a whole nother set of this, right? You make a different string and you say, okay, uh, this one here is Match of the day. But we want to create another one and call it right. In which case, we would say. We would do this the same thing, right? Drag that to it, set string. Um, and 
and then let's see okay you make any number of them right and you would say <laughs> All right. Um, so you could then tie, a, but you would need you would want a different you would want a different relay. Okay, you wouldn't want that relay. So what we would do is we would let's copy that relay, put it here. Okay, and right there. And then what we'd say is. We would do we would do a different a different object here to activate that one and we would say player iterator for each player now Gotta be an on player hurt. Whoops, it's gotta be an on player hurt. Player proxy. There we go. Killed. Unkilled self. Okay, so let's see. On killed an AI, on killed a demon player, on hurt, right? On hurt, we would. Activate, we would signal that one, right? And so for each, every time a player got hurt, a message would pop up, like <laughs> sack up, or maybe you could have, have one that says, you know, dodging would help or strafing would help something, you know? Um, so anyway, you can attach these to all kinds of things, okay? And so on this one here, let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, those are references to the same one. So we're going to have to delete that one and create a new one. If you copy it, it's a reference. I forgot about that. So you need to go grab another string variable. Drop it right there. Add new. Okay. Let's change that, right? There's no telling who's going to be watching this. Okay. Done. And done. There we go. And then we need to change this one to... Wait a minute. Does this one also say reference? Yeah. Okay, crap talker. Let's go ahead and change that one to... Message... Okay. On change, show message, message variable, right? So sadly, you can't just use one, right? At least I don't think you can use more than one. You can only use one at a time. So you're going to have to copy those. Up it there. Unchanged. There. All right. So that's it. So that's it for this. Um, my my next my next tutorial is going to be based on this idea here, um, where you make a map that has objectives, random, randomly selected objectives that you have to complete, right? 
And this is just this this idea here is just the base the basis for that. Okay, there's going to be quite a bit more things entailed. There's going to be boolean uh, variables that have to be created, uh, logic gates that I'm going to have to create on here uh, in order for that to work. Um, but yeah, so uh, so yeah, look look forward to that. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing that next. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I will do this. Uh, I will test this real quick, though. We wanted to see if one would indeed randomize it. This would make your code a lot cleaner. Makes sense to me to do this, but some of these things in the snap map editor are a little counterintuitive right like whenever like like my secret like how to make an actual uh, a real secret activator a real secret activator is not just setting the door to the status of secret there's more entailed but anyway let's go ahead and save that now i'm gonna run this real quick and see if it does indeed give us uh different messages even though I tied them all into the same activator uh, off of one line. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm only getting message one, right? So you do have to make each one its own separate line, okay? Uh, and it makes sense according to what it says here. A random relay will signal one of its outputs at random, and that's just one output, right? So go ahead. Do that. You can undo what I just did was hold left trigger and push the left arrow. It's the equivalent of control Z for like a text editor on Windows or whatever. So anyway, so there you have it. Um, random relay, string variable, message object. Uh, you need those three items and separate lines connecting the string output, uh, the, your reference for every type that you want to do so if you want to do on hurt on killed on killed self on killed player on killed ai whatever the case is you got to create a different one you got to create one of these for each one of those okay um uh you might be saying to yourself holy crap that's gonna be a whole lot of shit in one spot yes it is so here's an idea find a small room Dead ends help, right? Okay. Coupler building, we're going to use that. All right. We're going to stick it. Oh, crap. And stick it right above this one all right and come in here when you're done making all your messages you can grab all this all right and just toss it in this room up here doesn't matter where it's at, stuff is still connected, right? So there we go. So there's one, and this is a small room, right? So uh, drawback to doing that is, well, there's not a, a real bad drawback to it. You just, um, you're creating, you're adding another room, right? Which takes up object, memory, and network resources. Not much, 
but uh, there you have it. So find find your one largest building, right? one largest room or whatever okay, what the hell what in the world is going on here oh ah no what I did wrong all those were still selected. You got to be careful about that too. If you had stuff selected and then you go and select something else, it's still selected. You need to hit B back out of that. Um, anyway, you don't want all your other stuff pulled up there. You just want your relay and what you've attached after it. Right? That room stick this off in the corner there you go stuff's out of the way now you don't have to connect anything to that room You're, those those as you can see those lines are already going up to it all right thanks for watching uh stay tuned uh i'll be doing the uh randomized mission code uh using this using this idea that I have here with the random messages.